Do they fade? Do they smudge? Do they patch? Do they smear? This is what it's looking like. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's Fab and Five. So today is a very exciting video because we're gonna be testing Makeup by Mario's Soft Sculpt Collection. I got two of his products, the Cream Contour Stick and the Cream Blush Stick. So we're gonna be testing these out today and doing a little wear test just so you guys can see how they stay. Do they fade? Do they smudge? Do they patch? Do they smear? How do they last? So this is called the Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick. I got it in the shade Light. It is a dual-ended cream shaping stick. So we get this little brush here, which is quite interesting looking. As you can see on the end here, there's these little like dots and it's slightly angled. So we're gonna be using that today to try to blend it out. This is the actual product. You get quite a bit of product as well from the looks of it so let's just go straight in with it and see I don't normally like to apply straight to the skin because sometimes that makes it a little bit less blendable but we're gonna see how this guy does so let's go in I'm nervous <laughs> so let's go ahead and see how she blends out um, that is blending out stunningly and this brush is working really nice as well It's actually it's not too stiff, but it's dense enough that you're gonna get that nice blendability Yeah, like that blends out really nicely. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more like higher up I have so many cream contours I love, so it's not like I need another one, but I always wanna try another one. But this is really just blending out nicely, and as I said, I don't typically apply straight to the skin. Like some of my favorites, if I do that, they sometimes don't blend out as nice, but this one is really blending out like stunningly. Yeah, I'm not mad about that, and it is the perfect shade for me. It's not too dark, and it's not too light. And I really like this brush as well. I think that's good. Sometimes when things come with applicators or brushes, I don't always love them, but this is really nice. Like I would definitely continue to use this. Like it's just a really good quality brush. So it almost increases the value of this product. It's not like pulling or lifting the foundation. It's not separating the foundation. Everything's blending in really, really seamlessly. Oh, I love this. Oh, I love it. And with the blush stick. So this is called the Soft Pop Blush Stick. It is also the same price. I got it in the shade Pale Petal, which is described as a soft pink. Again, same brush. Offers sheer, buildable coverage with a dewy finish and a moisturizing formula ideal for all skin types. This is the color, but you can also see there's a little bit of a sheen to it, which is kind of nice. One little swipe. I'm scared. I don't like to swipe things on my face. This brush does come off, so I guess if you really wanted to, you could do that and then put it back on. I love this shade. It's such a beautiful, like, nice pink. I'll blend it out easy as well. Like, these are just so easy. Like, they would be very quick. You can see kind of maybe a little bit of a sheen, but it's not super dewy. Stunning, stunning, stunning. It's like naturally glam. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and I will be right back to show you guys what it's looking like set and everything and then we will do a little wear test as well. So I will be right guys, back. So I just wanted to update you guys. It's only been like half an hour. And I did a really simple look, but this is what it's looking like completely set down and everything. So I think it's looking really good. I'm really impressed with these guys so far. Everything was effortless and I love the shades as well. So I'm really impressed. I'm gonna go ahead and just go about my day and I will check back in at the end of the day to show you guys how it's wearing did it fade did it patch anything funky happen so yeah I will come back with my final review at the end of the day guys, so I'm just quickly checking in on the makeup by Mario it has been like 10 hours since I finished my makeup we are looking really good in terms of contour I don't really have any fading any patching the blush is still there the color is still there it is looking basically the same as when I left here, so I'm definitely impressed. And I really recommend these products by Makeup by Mario. This has really made me interested in trying other products from the brand, and I'm super pumped to have this in my collection, both of them. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this helpful. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up below if you guys enjoyed. I do have a giveaway going on, so I will link the video down below and all the info of how to enter. I hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful day. I'll see you guys next time.